Hi guys, in today's video, let's see how pulse oximeter works. The pulse oximeter is a small, clip-like device that attaches to a body part like toes or an earlobe. It's most commonly put on a finger and it's often used in a critical care setting like emergency rooms or hospitals. Pulse oximetry is a non-invasive and painless test that measures your oxygen saturation level or the oxygen levels in your blood. It can rapidly detect even small changes in how efficiently oxygen is being carried to the extremities furthest from the heart, including the legs and the arm. It displays the percentage of blood that is loaded with oxygen. More specifically, it measures what percentage of hemoglobin, the protein in blood that carries oxygen, is loaded. Before we go in detail, kindly subscribe and support our channel. A typical pulse oximeter uses an electronic processor and a pair of small LED lights. One LED is red with wavelength of 660 nanometer and the other is infrared with a wavelength of 940 nanometer. Absorption of light at these wavelengths differs significantly between blood loaded with oxygen and blood lacking oxygen. Oxygenated hemoglobin absorbs more infrared light and allows more red light to pass through. Deoxygenated hemoglobin allows more infrared light to pass through and absorbs more red light. The LED lights sequence through their cycle of on and off about 30 times per second, which allows the photodiode to respond to the red and infrared light separately and also adjust for the ambient light baseline. The ratio of the red light measurement to the infrared light measurement is then calculated by the processor and this ratio is then converted to peripheral oxygen saturation. Pulse oximetry is typically a fairly accurate test. This is especially true when using high-quality equipment found in most medical offices or hospital settings. It consistently provides results within a 2% difference either way. An oxygen saturation level of 95% is considered normal for most healthy individuals. A level of 92% indicates potential hypoxemia or deficiency in oxygen-reaching tissues. At minimum, more than 89% of your blood should be carrying oxygen. This is the oxygen saturation level needed to keep your cells and your body healthy. While having an oxygen saturation below this temporarily is not believed to cause damage, repeat or consistent instances of lowered oxygen saturation levels may be damaging. Thanks for watching. Kindly subscribe.